Clute Muscles into Munster Affections. This is the opening. It's a brilliant opening from Charlie McQueen. Sit beside Chris Clute, says Charlie, when he's wearing a short sleeve shirt and you cannot help be amazed by the size of his biceps. They are not just big, they are enormous. And boy, when he gets on the rugby pitch, he certainly knows how to use them to the greatest benefit. Uh, this is obviously something Chris himself is uh, very proud of. We went and just had a cursory look at his Instagram feed, which I recommend you do at some point today. So this is there. This is, um, I don't have a date on this one, but um, wow. Look at those muscles. That is unbelievable. Look at this. Maybe there's nothing on the bar. That's uh, my question here. Yeah, you see, you can't actually see what, he, what he's lifting there, but I guess the whole point is he doesn't need to. Kind of, it, it, does the tan come naturally? This is all part of the same shoot. I wonder, do the rest of the Munster lads, have they all seen this? Like, is that the type of thing that you walk into a dressing room afterwards and they all go, just tell us a little bit about how the shoot came about, Chris. There are some other stuff, some other bits and pieces on uh, Chris Clute's Instagram. This is, um, that's him. Awesome time in the Karoo, hashtag hunting season. Um, I don't know what, what he shot there. And then this one here, without hunting, there would be no conservation. Without conservation, there would be no wildlife. I mean, definitely without no conservation, there would be, you know, less wildlife. And conservation is unbelievably important. I'm not sure that hunting is a form of conservation, really. I mean, I've seen the argument made that you have to cull certain, certain yeah. animals from time to time. But, like, do you have to kill them by hand? Do you have to enjoy the killing of them? Oh, well, the, on the only reason he's taking a picture beside that dead animal is because he uses his bicep to give it scale. It's just, uh, that's the only reason he does it. But if he wants to see some real conservation, he's a monster man now, Chris Clute. Could he please, and this is a plea for me to you, Chris Clute, could you go to the Killarney National Park and get rid of the rhododendron? They struggle with that every year. It kills wildlife uh, in terms of uh, flora, anyway, not so much yeah, fauna yeah. every year. If you could go down there, maybe get a flamethrower or something and sort this out. I know yeah. you're a man dedicated to conservation. Please help Killarney National Park survive the rhododendron epidemic that often occurs every single year. So that, that's all I'm saying. Um, you are a monster man now, and I'm sure you'll do the good thing for your locality. All right, fuck the rhododendrons is basically uh, Owen's message this morning, and fair play to him.